friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a card for you using a couple different Lawn Fawn sets. I'll be using Stuck on You, Our Friendship Grows, Quinn's ABCs, and Milo's ABCs. And I will also be using the Echo Park Just Be You 6x6 pad. Today I'm attempting a card that would have struck fear in my heart before I had the Misty. Um, this is a stamping heavy uh, card here and um, it really relies on getting things lined up well. And this is a card that I probably would never have even attempted before I owned this amazing stamping tool. So I'm starting out with my sentiment. I've gone ahead and lined that all up on my uh, Misty for you guys, um, just so you didn't have to waste time watching me line up those letters. That was a bit tedious. But the good thing is, once you've got it down, you can stamp as many copies as you need to. The first one didn't go so well for me, so I just flipped my paper over and re-stamped it, and there we go. Perfect. So to go along with my punny sentiment there, I'm going to also stamp out a cacti and a succulent or an aloe plant from Stuck On You. And these are solid stamps, so I'm going to be inking these up. And just to give them a little extra interest, I'm going to be using multiple inks for each one. So on the cactus, I used jalapeno and noble fur and I just stamped down the jalapeno first and then added the noble fur just on the edge and kind of um, added some shading with that darker ink. Now these inks do dry back into the paper quite a bit so it will be a much subtler transition um, after it's dried but um, it's going to give me that nice shading. So for my first attempt at this succulent, I was just playing with some different color variations and I decided to use the freshly cut grass and the jalapeno ink. So I went ahead and inked that up and stamped it out. Um, but I decided that I didn't care for that color combination. I thought it was too similar to the cactus. So I just went ahead and moved that succulent image down. Or I'm using it as an aloe plant today. And I'm going to re-stamp that image using some different colors. So I wanted it to be quite a bit lighter than the cactus, so I'm taking the Minty Fresh ink, that's the lightest green that I have from Lawn Fawn, it's the lightest green that Lawn Fawn has, and I'm going to ink that up twice because I do want it to still be bold enough to stand next to that cactus and not kind of like fade away. So I inked that up twice with the Minty Fresh and now I'm taking the freshly cut grass and I'm going to use that to add my shading. And it still wasn't quite bold enough knowing that this is going to dry back, so I did decide to go in with the jalapeno, which is just another step up, and add a little bit of that into the mix. I actually added it in two different places there, inking it up twice. And that is the great thing about this Misty. I would never, ever be able to do this with an acrylic block. I'm just not good at lining things up visually with just my eyes, um, This, but this tool just makes it so easy. So I did go ahead and stamp out these little um, buds that are coming out of the succulents in a pink, and I tried to do kind of a combination of pink and the Minty Fresh, and it didn't work at all. So I'm just re-stamping those in the Minty Fresh twice again and then adding a bit more shading to each of those with the freshly cut grass. I'm also going to be stamping out the little cactus blossom and I'll be using bubblegum ink and then the wild rose as a little bit of an accent there. And that's going to add a nice pop of color to my card and tie into the pattern papers that I'll be using. For the little pot that comes in the Stuck On You set, I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink just because it is a really nice, rich, bold ink, and I wanted it to be very black. And then for the flower pot from Our Friendship Grows, I'm going to ink that up with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink so that I can color that in with Copic markers since that is a Copic-friendly ink. And I pulled in that flower pot so it will add some different heights to the card. 
So whenever I color any images with Copic markers, I always choose one inspiration pattern paper first. So that's going to be probably my main um, or my most colorful piece of pattern paper that I'm going to use. And then I have my Copic color chart also out with me so that I can match up those colors and kind of pull from that pattern paper so everything is going to um, just be very cohesive. So I'm going to color in this pot to match those papers and I'm using Y11, Y13, and Y15. I started with the Y15 and added some shadow right under the rim and then I'm also shading more on the right side of the pot and then um, blending out with the Y13 and finishing off with the Y11. And I just went over that twice so that I have a really nicely blended transition. So going back to our sentiment, I've die cut that down with the Lawn Fawn Stitch Rectangle Stackables die into a focal panel. And I'm going to go ahead and pull all my little elements out here now and just kind of arrange them onto the card until I'm happy with the way that they look. So I'm going to start with that yellow pot and I'm going to adhere that down first because it's the largest of the two and I want it to look like it's a little bit recessed. I'm also going to add it just slightly higher than the other pot so that it looks like it's further back. It's just going to kind of push that a little bit into the distance. So once I have those situated, I can add my cactus. So I'm going to tuck that into the yellow pot and I'm adding it kind of to the left because I want you to really be able to see that poking out. And then the succulent is going to cover the empty right side of that yellow pot. So it's not going to look so much out of balance there. So I tucked the cactus into the yellow pot and then I added the little succulent or aloe kind of a little bit over the black pot so that it looks like um, the leaves are kind of coming out towards you. And then I'm just going to take these two little uh, buds and I'm going to add those so that they're kind of creeping up out of the um, aloe plant or the succulent. And also just taking care to kind of frame up that sentiment without covering up any of the words, but just kind of filling in that empty space there. I'm also going to add that little cactus blossom to the left side of the cactus so we have that nice pop of color. And then I also decided to go ahead and color in the word aloe so that it would kind of match and tie that little cactus blossom to the rest of the card. So I'm grabbing the R20, R22, and R24, and I'm starting with that R24, and I'm just kind of going to do kind of an ombre look. So I'm putting the darkest down towards the bottom of each of the letters, and then pulling that color up with the R22, just trying to keep it very um, equal so that they look um, like they were I don't know, almost like a dip dyed effect. Um, so they're all kind of just at the same level. I did go out of the lines a little bit on the A and that could be cause for panic, especially when this focal panel is so close to being finished. But um, I've learned from Copic coloring in the past that most mistakes can be fixed if you're just patient and work on it. So I'm going to let that ink dry while I finish off the rest of the letters with the R20, just coloring in the top portion there. And once I have that completed and that ink has had a chance to dry back a little bit, I can go ahead and grab my colorless blender. And I'll just go ahead and turn my paper so that I can get a good angle and begin to push that color back where I want it to go. And as long as you work in little short uh, bursts, you don't want to oversaturate the paper, you can usually push it back most of the time. Red can be a little bit tricky. So I'm actually going to grab a white jelly roll pen and while that ink is still drying, that colorless blender, I'm going to get, add some polka dots to my yellow pot because the uh, pattern paper has cacti planted in yellow pots with polka dots. So that's further going to tie my images into the pattern paper that I'm using. 
And then I'll go up and just color over any hint of pink that's in the center of the A, and you can't even tell that there was ever a mistake there. So my card base is a piece of Lawn Fawn Guava cardstock, scored and folded to a standard top folding card. So it's four and a quarter inches wide by five and a half tall. And I'm going to go ahead and do my stamping now before I add the rest of my elements. So I'm using the guava ink, which is the matching ink, and I'm just stamping that pot from Stuck On You once again. And then I'm going to pull that off and line up the larger cactus in the Stuck On You stamp set. And I'm just going to make sure that that kind of is just at the edge of that pot so it looks like one continuous image when I stamp and there won't be any white space between the cactus and the pot. And I'm just inking those up twice so that it'll be um, nice and bold since this is going to dry back a bit. Then I'm going to grab a sentiment for the inside and I'm going to use Howdy that comes right in that stamp set and I'm going to stamp that down twice as well. So the outside of my card will say, say hello to my little friend, and then the inside will say howdy. I think that just ties together really cute. So I've die cut my pattern papers using the Lawn Fawn Stitch Rectangled Stackables dies and then the Zigzag Stackables. So I'm going to take this little cactus print, which was my main inspiration, and I'm going to just glue that flat to the card. And I love using the Tombow Mono Multi Glue because it gives you that chance to just make sure your edges are really straight and perfect. And then I'm going to add this kind of pink polka dot right across the center. And I did die cut that with the uh, stitched rectangle stackables as well, so it has the stitch detail along the edges. I'm going to glue my focal panel to the zigzagged rectangle. I added some foam tape to the back of my focal panel and then I can just pop that into place. As a finishing touch, I'm going to take some enamel dots. These are from Teresa Collins and um, these are just older packs. I have some uh, pastels there that I thought would work well and then I also have uh, a darker green that came in a Christmas pack and sometimes when I'm not sure how I want to place things down I'll just take a little bit of acetate and set that into place and then I can kind of lay out my little elements and kind of move that around and see if that's how I want them on the card. So once I'm happy with the placement, I can just pop those off and press them down firmly into place. And I also decided to add another small pink and yellow down at the bottom to just kind of balance out all the green from the cacti and the succulents. So that is going to complete our card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. There's another peek at the inside. And um, I think it turned out really cute. I think the sentiment is super fun. I love punny sentiments. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you're interested in more videos like these. Here's an extra couple videos you may also enjoy. And you can always click on my photo to subscribe to my channel if you've not done that already. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.